All right, so next thing up, we're going to look at how we can add uh, page numbers to a PDF. Bluebeam's add page numbers is, is pretty pretty robust in, in terms of customization and how you can do it. And it's just going to be like a normal header or footer that we're, we're really adding here. So to do that, I'm going to stay in this this you know combined test document that I'm in here. I'm going to go to Documents, and I'm going to go to Headers and Footers, and I'm going to do Add. If I had if I had existing headers or footers, I could do Edit, and I could just edit the settings of those headers and footers, but I don't have any in this one yet, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Add. And then now it's saying, okay, what pages do you want to add headers and footers to? And I'm going to say all in this case, but sometimes you might have a document that has like a cover page, and maybe we even want to know two pages after the cover page that we don't want to add those page numbers to. So if that was the case, say it's this, you know, this four-page document here had a cover page, and I only wanted to start my, my page numbers on, on page two, because that cover page doesn't get a page number, then I could just say two through four, or whatever the page range is that I want to apply those to. So I'm just going to go ahead and do all in this case here. And they have some other options here too. You can do you know, the current page, a custom range, which is, which is the two to four I just added. You could do even pages, odd pages, or it'll, it'll even go and detect pages that are in landscape uh, orientation or portrait orientation and apply it to those specifically. So I'll just do all in this case here. And next. And then here's the header and footer dialog. And um, again, pretty robust in terms of what you can do in here. You know, change your font, font size, your font color, you know, bold, italics, underline. You can change the, the margins that you want to place these in. So say I want you know page number right at the bottom center here. I'm going to click on this, this footer center. And this is kind of you know set up the way that the page is set up, right? So this top left box is going to be your top left portion of your page or your left justified header. And the bottom right one here is going to be your right footer or the right bottom right uh, justified area of that page. So I want to just want to do, do some page numbers in here. And you know, I could type in you know, something manually here if I wanted to. I can just type in text or whatever. But in this case, I want to insert actual page numbers in this document here. So to do that, I'm going to go under this insert area right here and I'll click on page number. And you know, this is a pretty common one, one of the total number of pages. So n is the total number of pages. You can do just a, a single number, you know, page number. You can do one of the total number of pages. Or, or page one or page one of you know however many so I'm just gonna do one of n and you can also put your start number here so if you want to start your your page number you get a certain number like in the case of if I have a big document add a cover sheet on there you know I only want to start my page numbering on page two well instead of doing one on page two to you know just to make it easier to know what page you're actually jumping to electronically and the page numbers so they sync up I could have said, okay, I want to start the, my numbering with two on page two. But again, in my case here, I'm just going to do one because I'm going to start from one in the very beginning. I hit okay, and you can see it, it's really kind of hard to see here, but there's a little live preview of what that's going to look like down here. And I'll kind of make that a little bit bigger here so we can see what that's going to look like right there. So I can change the you know, color, so I can make this blue, you know, bold, you know, anything. Uh, that I really want to do here, and I could play around with these these margins over here too, right? So if I wanted to make this lower, you know, I can just um, actually that's the right one here, the bottom one. If I want to just drop this guy down here, see how I'm just kind of clicking this, and it's moving down, or if I move it up, so I control the 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 margin of that footer and the header with these buttons over here. So that looks good to me, and um, and one thing you can do too, you know, if you set up the way you like these page numbers to be, you can save your settings so you can use them in the future, which is pretty handy. So if you want to do that, you can always go to save and then to save these, and I'll just call it something like test. Right? And then now that's going to be available over here. Like I had a previously saved one for a calc package that I put together and I wanted to keep using that same formatting over and over again every time I had to apply those page numbers. So I just all I had to do was click on this and then it get, got my formatting for me. And you can do it, you can add a bunch of different stuff in here. This is kind of like Excel's headers and footers, right? You can do dates and base numbers or, or file data. So you could put like file extensions and file paths and things like that. A lot of, a lot of options in here.
So I'll go ahead and hit OK. And yeah, this one is only four pages, really quick, right? So here you see one of four, two of four, three of four, four of four.